Hello, uh, my name is Dmitry. If you don't know me, I am one of Wave's co-founders. Uh, today, I will show how to use Stream Deck with Wave Live Studio. Uh, let me check if everything is all right. Uh, let me know if you hear me or not. And let me know where you're from, how to use Wave here in the comments. Thank you. And I will answer any questions after the show. Uh, okay, guys, you know, I realized I just used the wrong mic, but I guess that's okay. One sec. Happens, happens all the time. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, I hope you hear me all right. Let me know if not. Okay, so um, for those who don't know what Stream Deck is, uh, Stream Deck is a hardware device that allows you to easily control your software on your computer and actions, uh, various actions on your computer uh, using customized buttons. Essentially, it's a specialized keyboard where you can program each key separately. Uh, it's a great tool for streamers and um, content creators uh, as it allows you to quickly switch between scenes, for example, start and stop streaming con and control other aspects of your live stream without having to use hotkey or mouse clicks. Uh, and those uh, devices, they come in several sizes. Um, mine is the smallest one. I'll show it later. But you can purchase Stream Deck with hundreds of keys, I believe. Okay, so uh, sit back, relax, and let's get started. Um, let me just acknowledge. Hi, Karen. Hi, Paul. Hi, Elizabeth. Okay, guys. So, um, first of all, first of all, let me show you how to use wave shortcuts because this is the basic uh, basic, uh, basic thing, right? Without shortcuts, you can't use Stream Deck. So um, what are shortcuts in Wave? Essentially, every section in Wave, in Wave Studio, uh, it has a shortcut assigned to it. For example, uh, by, by section, I mean, for example, this is video section. This is overlays, this is backgrounds. So uh, when you hover over the section, you can see the shortcut here. V, videos have V, overlays O, backgrounds B, and so on and so forth, sound effects E. And if you, there are some sections which don't, which don't really show the shortcuts. For example, layouts, they also have a shortcut assigned. It's L. And scenes, they also have a shortcut S. You can actually open the, go to this top right corner, click on it, and there's a small help um, pop-up, uh, which basically shows you all the shortcuts, right? So when you click a shortcut, for example, let me click B. Let me press uh, B, right? So. As soon as it happens, you see numbers from one to zero through nine uh, on the first 10 elements of this section. Uh, and the numbers are shown just for a few seconds. If I press one of the numbers, well, uh, they are shown. This particular element gets selected. Uh, the effect is the same as if you just click it with the mouse, for example. Uh, let me just show. I press B and then 1. And first background is uh, selected. I press B and 2. And the second background is selected. Um, or if I, I can click, I, I can press L. And then I can choose one of the layouts. Uh, and so on and so forth. Essentially, you can control most of the things in the studio. 
uh, just using those shortcuts. So uh, I guess now you understand where I'm going with it. Uh, essentially, you can assign a stream deck button to one of those combinations and just pressing the button on a stream deck device, you can select the video background, overlay, layout to scene, essentially everything. So how to do that exactly? Let me show you. Okay, uh, here I have my um, Stream Deck device. So this is the device itself. So, so as you see, it's a, it's a small um, keyboard. Uh, so mine has what, uh, five by three, 15 keys, right? Uh, but yeah, you can buy much bigger devices with hundreds of keys and you can have, uh, you can create profiles in the software which controls the stream deck and you can switch between those profiles and select different combinations. For example, you can have one profile for wave, another for Photoshop and another profile for some other software. Um, so, and you can configure, of course, uh, any of those keys. So let me show how. Here on the screen, I have um, uh, the software which comes with the Stream Deck. I think it's called Stream Deck Configurator or something. So, and the layout is the same as on the physical device. Uh, essentially, what you need to do, so you see this uh, free, um, uh, slot, right? So you go to, and there are all kinds of actions you can assign to those slots. For Wave, uh, you need to go to the section system and then just uh, grab this action text, grab it and drop to any keys you want. For example, this one, right? And you can also notice that it immediately uh, uh, the the device the also update right away. Okay, and then do what? For example, let's say you want this button to. When I press this button, you want me. Uh, you want to play some. Uh, okay, you want to ask, to set the background. Uh, like the third third background, right? So it means B three if you remember the shortcuts. So you go to, you go over there and you just type B3, that's it. You can also type some text like background three, right? Um, there is an option, you can actually set some kind of, um, you can set an icon. Uh, you can create your own icon or you can use uh, that there is all, all kind of several different icon packs you can choose you can install there are like thousands of them you if you don't want to design the icons themselves you can just choose whatever is uh, works for you for your particular case I don't know I, I just want to use something for, for this particular um, uh, demo, I just, I'm going to use this one. Okay, for some reason, cannot, oh, it's already selected, yeah. Um, so, yeah, as you, as you see, it's uh, updated on the device itself. So now, what happens if I, if I press this button, right, on the device, and I have to be, my studio has to be uh, in focus. It has to be active application, right? So if I press this button, it will just uh, replace my background with background number three. Let me just check. You know what? Let me just display the studio here and show how it works. So I'm pressing the button and you see uh, the 
background, I now have this background number three. So let me show you again. For example, I, I select this background manually, and now I'm going to press this button. So you can assign keep, uh, actions to anything. For example, if you want to play some sound, right? Uh, let's say crowd. And, and sound um, effect has a um, shortcut E. Okay, let me just see how it works. E, one. One is a, is a crowd cheating. I'm not sure if you hear me. Let me just make it louder. So let me assign it. Let me do it in the stream deck. So I'm going to the stream deck again. I'm going to system. I drag this action over there and I type E1. I can just type crowd. And if I don't like this T icon, I can just replace with it something neutral like this. I can also uh, put the word in the middle. So now if I, let me show the studio again. Okay, I'm going to press this button and I will, um, I'm not sure if you hear it, but I hear a nice crowd cheering. <laughs> let, let me do it again. Okay, um, so I hope it's clear. If not, um, please let me know, ask any questions. I can answer, uh, I'll try to answer uh, as far as I know. I'm not like, I'm not a big expert in Stream Deck, but it's pretty simple device and it's pretty simple software. So uh, hopefully this uh, presentation um, help. Yeah, the biggest uh, problem, for example, for me was to figure out that I can use, uh, what what action I can use for Wave. Um, there's another way to do it through multi-actions, but I think text is the simplest one. Okay, uh, so I think that's it for today. Um, hope this Friday 13 is going to be great. <laughs> Okay, uh, see you guys next week or the week after and have a nice, um, have a nice weekend.